Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, we'll be doing electron configurations. This is not necessarily a teaching of how to do electron configurations, but more so examples of electron configurations. And we're probably going to roll through the first several elements and find out where their electrons are located and express where the electrons are located using electron configuration. So electron configuration is simply a method that scientists use to let the world know where the electrons are located in this electron cloud. And there are specific regions. So that's my goal today, is just roll through examples of them rather than um, teaching them. Teaching them will be a different lesson. It's simply just an expression of several examples. Okay, the first element we're going to look at is going to be hydrogen. Hydrogen is right here. So here we go. This is hydrogen. And I want to find out the electron configuration of hydrogen. Well, I'm also going to write in a couple things here. These are little energy levels that are going to be useful to us. So hydrogen's electrons are located on the first energy level. And we know that with a 1, first energy level, the electrons are located in an s orbital. And hydrogen has one proton, so therefore it's also going to have one electron, and it's noted like that. So hydrogen's electron configuration is simply 1s1. Okay, helium is actually located over here on our periodic tables, but for our purposes, I'm actually just going to draw it right here for us. Okay, this is He, and it is element number 2. All right, so where is its electrons located? Well, it has two electrons because it has two protons. The two electrons are both located on the first energy level, so one right here. That's our energy level. So we're dealing with the first energy level. We are in this area right here. This area right here is considered the S block. That is the S orbital. So its electrons are going to occupy the S orbital. And because helium has two protons, it's also going to have two electrons, and both those are going to be located there. Okay, next up is lithium. Lithium is located over here. It is element number three. And because it's element number three, it tells us it has three electrons. So where are those electrons located? Let's start. you got to go back to the start here, start in hydrogen. So where are those electrons located? Electrons are located in the first energy level, in the S-shaped orbital. It'll have two electrons. And I kind of go like this. I take an arrow, and I go right across. Boom. 1s2. There is no other room for electrons in the s-shaped orbital, so they're in the first energy level. So now where is the electrons going to go next? They're going to go into the second energy level, the s-shaped orbital, and it's going to put one electron there. So the first energy level is filled. It only holds two electrons. The second energy level now is starting to be filled, and the s orbital is the first place you put an electron, and you put one electron there. How many electrons do I have? I have one in the 2s, and two in the 1s. Element number four is beryllium. It has four electrons in place. The electrons are going to be placed closest to the nucleus. So we're going to start off with electrons filling up the first energy level. In the first energy level, the only orbital that exists is the S-shaped orbital. And we can kind of see that on the first energy level here. This is my first energy level. The only place to put an electron is going to be the S orbital. Yes, helium does exist over here, but it is in the S orbital. There's nowhere else to put an electron on the first energy level. All right, on the second energy level, second energy level now we're filling. The first place to put an electron is going to be our S orbital again. How many electrons can the S orbital fill? Hold one, two. So beryllium, which is right over here, is going to have an S1 and an S2. So it's going to be 1S, 2 is filled up, and now the second energy level, the S orbital, is going to hold two electrons. And as you can see, there's no more room in the second energy level in the S orbital. The next place we're going to see an electron is going to be over here, and that's going to be in the P orbitals. All right, so that's the next place we're going to find an electron. Okay, next up is boron. Boron is over here. It is element number five. And we're going to be on a different side of the periodic table now. I'm going to highlight this side. This side, as you might already see, is called the, the p orbitals. The p orbitals first appear in the second energy level. Boron has, as you see here, five protons, therefore five electrons. Where are those five electrons are going to go? Okay, let's start it off. You have to fill the first energy level first. The first energy level is right here. How many places can an electron be placed there? There's two places there that can hold an electron. 
S1 and S2. So in the first energy level, the S orbital will hold two electrons. How do I know that? Here we go. My arrow goes through S1 and 1S2. Done. There's nowhere else to put an electron. Uh, my second energy level, I'm going to start off again here. I'm going to start off number three, and I'm going to go right through number four, beryllium, boom. I'm going to put two more electrons in the S-shaped orbital. And now I have one more proton, one more electron to put. I want you to see that I have two electrons right now in the 1s. I have two electrons in the 2s. Now I need to put some more electrons, and I'm going to put them now in the p orbital. P orbital is over here. So now I make my journey across, and bam, boron is in the 2p, second energy level, the p orbital, and I am one into the p orbital. 2p, one. All right, batter up, it's carbon. Carbon has six protons, therefore six electrons. So we have to find a home for six electrons. Where are these six electrons going to be located around the nucleus of the atom? All right, well, we're going to start by filling up the first energy level. Once that's filled, we're going to start filling up the second energy level. The first energy level can hold one, I'll label them, one, two electrons. The second energy level can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, second energy level can hold eight electrons. So right now I am looking to find a home for six electrons. Let's do it, dudes. First energy level, it can occupy two electrons and they will be located in the S-shaped orbital. So once again, this right here is the energy level, the one. One is the energy level. The S is the orbital that the electrons are located in, in that energy level. And the two is going to indicate how many electrons are located in the S-shaped orbital on the first energy level. All right, so we have two electrons in the first energy level. Now let's find a home for the remaining four electrons. Where are they going to go? The first two are going to go in the 2s. So we're going to fill up the 2s and just draw an arrow to indicate that. So the second energy level, the S-shaped orbital, not the S-shaped, the S orbital, is going to hold two electrons. Awesome. That's four electrons down. i got two more to go. Where are, the, where are the last two electrons going to go? Right here, where it says three and four. So the second energy level can hold eight electrons altogether. So far, I found a home for four of them. So therefore, I'm going to find a home in one, two. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of a cleanup. Hold on. Okay, I just don't want it to be confusing at all. Okay, uh, in the P, this is P1. This column is P2. This column is P3, P4, P5. And this last column is going to be P6. So what I'm saying is I'm, a, I'm on the, still on the second energy level. I'm now in the P orbital, and carbon is too deep in the P orbital. So therefore, it's going to be a 1s2, a 2s2, 2p6. Okay, nitrogen. We're going to place those electrons. Nitrogen has seven protons, therefore seven electrons to fill. So we're going to find homes to those seven electrons. We're going to find homes closest to nucleus first. So on the first energy level, we're going to place two electrons. Where are they going to be? In the one energy level and in the S-shaped orbital, and it can hold one, two electrons. You hear my little boy Timmy in the background there. He's having a good time, right? He's cheering along for the electron configuration stuff. You, you might hear him crying in the background. All right, that takes care of our first two electrons. Let's go for the last five. Where are the last five going to go? They have to go on the second energy level, so I'm going to write down two for the second energy level. What orbital are they going to go in? The first place to put it is going to be the S-shaped orbital as I walk my way across the periodic table. I already have an arrow down there. And the S orbital can hold two electrons, and I go right through them. And now I have to find a home for the remaining three electrons. Where are they going to be? P1, P2, and lastly, P3. So I'm going to end up where nitrogen is, is a literally a P3. So that's going to be 2P3. And we're going to walk our way all the way down to nitrogen, for uh, to neon. Okay, we're up into oxygen now. Oxygen has eight protons. That's what the number right here means. Eight means eight protons, and that also means eight electrons. I have to find a home for eight electrons. So by now we know the first energy level can hold two electrons in the S orbital. The first energy level is now filled. Awesome. Great. Second energy level. We're going to place the electrons. 
Two are going to be placed in the S-shaped orbital. Not the S-shaped, the S orbital. Once again, I keep saying that. 2s2. Two, the S orbital is filled. Now we're going to go into the P orbital. The P orbital can hold six. I have five more to. I have let's see, four more to place here. So therefore, I'm going to place one right here. Two, three, four. So I count them. The number of electrons I have: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to end up at P4. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Okay, next up is fluorine. Fluorine has nine total electrons. Let's find a home for them. On the first energy level, we should know by now we can fit two electrons in the first energy level on the S-shaped orbital. Boom. All right, S orbital is done. It's filled up. Now we have seven more electrons to place. On the second energy level, the first place you put an electron is the S orbital again, and that can hold two more electrons, and I draw arrows through them, 2s2. Now I have to continue on. It's literally a grid system in a way. We're still on the second energy level in the p orbital now. The p orbital can hold six electrons. I need to find a home for five more of them. Therefore, it's going to be a 2p5. So the electron configuration of fluorine, which has nine protons and electrons, would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. And the last one here for us is going to be neon. Neon has 10 electrons. Therefore, let's place them. In the first energy level closest to the nucleus, there exists an s orbital. It can hold two electrons. It's filled up now. 1s2. Great. The second energy level, the first place we can put electrons on the second energy level will once again be the s orbital. The s orbital, let's put two more electrons there. Bam. It's full too. Awesome. We have four electrons placed. We need six more to go. On the second energy level, you can put six more electrons there in the p orbital. And that's P6. Now you literally just take an arrow and I go right through all the P's down to neon to P6. Okay, guys, that takes care of energy levels 1 and energy levels 2. Uh, we're completed. And the next time we watch a video, it'll be on energy levels 3, 4, and so on, okay? Best wishes. I uh, hope this was helpful. And uh, take it easy, guys.